everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Tanya and if you're stopping by for the first time welcome and if you're not stopping by for the first time thank you so much for your support today's video is a tag video and I was tagged by the tagger herself Tabby Violet and by Amelia Rose's closet and this video is the the bags for every occasion tag and this has been um, reintroduced by Tabby and this was the tag that LB created quite some time ago and so a few of us have been now doing this particular tag. So there are six categories. They are work, casual, day to night, uh, evening and minimal and travel. <laughs> Look at my notes over there. So they're the six categories and we're supposed to choose one bag for each of those categories. Now this was somewhat difficult for me to do because I tend to use my bags so much that a lot of them feel like casual bags and a lot of them feel like evening bags and a lot of them have been day to night bags for me and so on so for me to specifically choose has been a little bit challenging however I've come up with my with my six and let me know what you think of these category number one is casual and the one that I considered is my Louis Vuitton Saint Claude Saint Cloud Saint Claude this is the GM size I like this one because it's an easy crossbody you can sling it on it has a bit of a messenger look to it um, it's just got the nice flap that you lift up inside is just one whole space like that it's pretty simple and it's a fuss free ordinary casual bag you can wear this with trackies you can wear this with jeans you can wear it with any type of casual wear so this for me is the first one that came to mind when it comes to a casual bag category number two is work now for me a work bag is entirely different than what other people use as a work bag i I need a larger bag to carry a lot of my files, laptop, kids' work, documents, folders, books, novels, etc. So I need a heavy duty bag and I never use any of my luxury bags for that purpose because it would just die. It would not survive. And I know a lot of people have suggested using the Neverfull, but it's too floppy. I need a bag that has some structure and some shape to it in order to keep those files and things in place without moving around too much. So in terms of that, I don't have one to show you other than my actual one. And that's embarrassing. I can't show you that one. But in terms of like a bag that you would carry to work uh, because it's not too ostentatious or perhaps a little bit more subtle, the one I've suggested here that I've come up with is my Oriton Duo Tote in the small size. Uh, this is my first foray into using a tote like this. I'm not much of a tote person as an ordinary handbag. So for me, this was an interesting experiment. And this probably would work as a very suitable, appropriate work bag or any other that's sort of like shaped more this way, east-west, as opposed to north-south. But that's one that I would consider more of a work bag from my collection. Okay, now, third category is travel. Now, this is where I need to cheat just a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. And I wasn't sure about the travel category because does it mean a bag that you wear while you're out and about traveling or does it mean a bag that you bring with you because you're traveling? And that, for me, is this one here. So this is the largest bag that I have in my collection. This is by the Italian designer Gianni Chiarini. It's probably not a high-end designer like a lot of the other bags that we use and show, but this would be considered like a mid-range, I understand. I could be wrong, of course. This is the largest bag I have. This is something that I would use as a carry-on. This is something I would use for a night away. This is something I would use if I was going away somewhere and needed to carry quite a few things with me. This is not the type of bag, though, that while I'm out and about sightseeing, I would use. I would use something different for that. But, you know, as my uh, three part A category travel, this is the one that I would use as my carry on. Then the next one I'd use as maybe the bag that I wear and use while I'm moving around sightseeing, traveling, doing stuff is this one here. I wasn't sure which one to go for because I have quite a few options, but I thought this one is easy because if I needed to, I could sling it over my back and use it as a backpack, which is what it's intended. This is the Coach Charlie or the Andy, I can never remember, backpack. Or if I wanted to, I could just alter the strap so that I could wear it crossbody and it, I could have it sitting across my front for added security if ever, you know, I'm in a place where I need to have that extra security. Plus, it's got the zip that goes all the way around. It's got the little extra pocket here if I need it. To me, this one sort of like tends to suit that function because of its ease and the ability to be hands-free if I needed to. 
Okay, this next category is a little bit tricky because now I need to show you a bag that I think would transition quite well from day to night. Now I have quite a few options. I didn't want to do a clutch because I would be very annoyed using a clutch all day during the day. So my suggestion is this one here, and this is my newest bag to my collection. This is the Oraton Fort, and this one's interesting because it's the flap style. It does have the longer chain, so if I wanted to, where's the thing? So if I wanted to, I could wear it crossbody like this, or certainly I could double it up and wear it as a shoulder bag. That in itself is also nice enough to use as an evening bag. It's got enough of bling on it to pass as an evening bag uh, or if I really wanted to I could remove this chain the silver chain altogether and just have the leather sitting there like that so that it looks like a smaller shoulder bag that could be worn for evening the other option of course also is that this can be removed entirely this whole strap and I could just use this as a clutch if I wanted to yes these you know rings would be showing but it would just add a bit of feature or you could tie a twilly around that and just you know give it a little bit of oomph if you wanted to so this one here I think is my day to evening bag fifth category is evening I couldn't choose I'm, I, I, I have to cheat again I'm going to show these two and I'm going to present these two as options because they are pretty much the same sort of the same thing and that's these they're black and gold <laughs> so the first one is my Versace uh, Versus bag and this is the one with the lion's head it's not the actual Versace line but this one is very much my first go-to when I think of an evening bag it's got the flap it's got this beautiful gold detail the chain on this bag let me pull it out is truly beautiful it's just like jewelry it's a piece of oh jewelry art so that's one option and it's got very much an evening vibe to it I, I wouldn't wear this during the day and the other one is my Henry Bendel wok so if I wanted something just a little bit smaller but in all honesty this is not that much smaller than that one over there so that's another option but I think really evening real evening I have worn this but I would go more for the Versace and the final category is minimal my most minimal bag <sighs> that was hard for me to choose because I have a few that are minimal no I don't actually <laughs> I don't have too many minimal bags that's my point I don't know what I was trying to say the best one that I think I could come up with is this one here and this is my coach Sutton bag and this is the one that was gifted to me at the end of 2018 by my as a small group of brilliant year 12 English students that I had that year boys too nonetheless and this perhaps would be the most and and I did showcase this in my most minimal handbags video which I will also link below but this is the one that perhaps would be my most minimal um, if you didn't want to have this coach badge showing of course you could just wear it on the other side and it just looks like an ordinary rectangular hobo-esque type of bag it's got the thin strap it's got the gold hardware but that's not you know ostentatious in any way this would give it away only if you knew um, or if I wear it that way even then it's quite minimal so guys these are my six bags that I think fit these categories well seven bags L eight bags <laughs> let me know what you think of my suggestions I will now tag a few other lovely people and if you've already done this forgive me I just and falling behind and haven't had a chance to catch up and watch everyone's video but I will have some names showing here and of course they will be listed below and before I let you go I just let me remind you of a little giveaway that I am doing and my giveaway is to celebrate 600 subscribers so far and I am going to be giving away two Oraton SLGs and I will link the video above and below showing you what these SLGs are and the conditions for that giveaway are number one to subscribe to my channel number two tell me where you're from number three also give me an idea or a suggestion of what else you'd like to see from me on my channel and number four let me know what your Instagram handle is so that I can contact you should you win so take care everybody God bless and I'll see you next time ciao